We're traveling through different regions of America this fall to capture some of the magic that takes place on Friday nights in communities both large and small. We all love to go to the ball games on Friday night because it's, it's a small town. We have a big crowd. Friday night cheerleading in America gives you an inside look at cheer programs from coast to coast and showcases how cheerleaders prepare themselves, their schools, and their communities for the big game each week. Friday night football is so special here because you get to just support your team and cheer your friends and just be a part of the team. We're just a small town and we all know each other so we're all just like real close and we just all have a good time on Friday night with the games and cheering and stuff. The reason why it makes it so much fun here on Friday nights is because I'm here with all my friends and we're cheering for our guys, our football team, and there's nothing better to go out and do on Friday nights than sitting here with our friends. Get ready for Friday Night Cheerleading! pretty small town. We've got a big support from the community. They've always come out and support us. We've got about 800 in our high school. I know almost everybody from Crossville. I've been here since kindergarten. I love it. I've been to school here ever since I was in kindergarten and I love it. I know pretty much everybody at this school, but we've grown a lot in the past few years, so I probably can't tell you everybody. The community is always behind us. We just really have a lot of support from them, and I'm really thankful for our community. We have a lot of support because everybody lives so close to each other, and we always have somebody to turn to no matter what we need. Everybody knows around here, back in 86, we had a state championship, so football has always been huge at Crossville. We have great community support. People come out, like a community pet rally last night. The gym was packed, you know, they just love things like that. We've always been involved with cheerleading, I always loved cheerleading. All of our nieces have been cheerleading. We've had um, six nieces that have been cheerleaders and, and we, you know, it's just been always in our family. So we did it mainly because my daughter is a cheerleader but and they needed somebody, but then we ended up really enjoying it. My mother said the other night when we were planning it, she said, y'all have got to grow up. She said, y'all are, are loving every bit of this. Pet rallies are the best thing ever. They're just really fun. Everybody usually gets into it pretty good. I mean, you can depend on the community. They're going to be there, they're going to support, and it's, it's always going to look like we're having a winning season, and they're there yeah, for us. It, it makes it fun because they support us. Everybody supports each other. Basketball, football, baseball. Uh, usually the crowd gets into it, and homecoming's the best because everybody's here to watch you, and the spirit's just going crazy. <laughs> Homecoming's really big, as you can tell, in this town. Just everything we do this week, we put a lot of work in. There's no way to tell how many hours we put into this pep rally. Oh, a lot of hard work. It's not easy at all. It usually takes a week or even a little bit more to plan one pep rally. have a homecoming parade and each grade participates and uh, gets together and uh, builds a float and then each grade gets judged on it and it usually goes around through Crossville and um, all the elementary and high school that's not on the float or in the parade um, comes out and watches. We do it every year. Every Everybody in the community will sit in their yard and watch and just enjoy it. The children sit at homecoming court right on cars in the parade and they get dressed up and fix their hair and 
just wave and rad. One of our traditions here across the hostel is the victory line. We get in the middle and we just cheer and we wait for the football team to run through. We get all the fans down and cheer with us. The run through usually takes us about two days if we're working pretty hard on it. We usually, whenever the captains um, go behind the paper, we know they're about to run out. So we just, the band plays and then we just wait for them to break the paper. <laughs> because we all get into it and like how we're dressed right now with traditions, it's so much fun. We have a special uniform that we wear. We wear homecoming sweaters and our raw raws and tall socks and all the chillers go and get their hair done. It's always been a tradition that all the varsity chillers do that. We're wearing these raw raws from like 1950s, I don't know, and these long socks. And these, they used to wear sweaters back then, but we like remade them more traditional and more original now. wouldn't be high school football without our cheerleaders. They are a wonderful part of high school football. They're very supportive. They keep the they keep the crowd in the ball game. They keep you know their their high level of intensity just keeps things rolling and, and it's very supportive of, of everything we do at Crossville. Football, basketball, anything you know that we've asked them to do, they're very cooperative and they're a great group, have great sponsors and, and they're homegrown folks. So uh, our sponsors both were cheerleaders here and so they have that tradition that we've done it for years and they want to continue that and you know we we've done all kinds of things and, and they are very just very supportive the kind of things we've done this week it's not unusual it's typical